I'm working. Why would I want to go out with you? This is like the worst place to ask someone. No, I don't want to go out with anyone who asks me out at work. Hi, my name is Glory and I currently work at Apple. Hi, my name is David, a former Apple Store employee. Hey, my name is Brian Molina. I am a former Apple employee and today we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever given a discount to someone because I thought they were cute. <laughs> I have not. I have. Somebody, you know, really attractive came into the store. They wanted an extra 10% discount. Usually we give those to family members. So I kind of had to say that they were a cousin. When you kind of go into like your shift, you know which managers are going to be on the floor. If it's a good day, then you can um, get away with a few things. Do you remember how many times you've done that? Yikes. Pro like once. Maybe twice. <laughs> Never have I ever helped a customer who brought in a product that was clearly fake. I haven't. No. Like I didn't actually like help them. Like I saw that it was fake. I was like, can't touch this. I don't even think I've had any fake phones come in. I have done that. I have done that only just to kind of prove them wrong that this isn't working because this isn't a real thing. And it happens probably more often than it should. People think they're slick, but Apple employees are trained. We're trained for these things. Never have I ever jailbroken my iPhone or someone else's. No, I have not done that. I haven't. Mostly because I have no idea fully what that means. I've done it all the time just so I can get the latest iOS without you know, having to wait for it to come out in September. Just trying to get cool wallpapers and updates and stuff like that. At least from what I've seen. It's not that common that people jailbreak their phone anymore, so I don't see the point. Never have I ever pretended not to know how to fix something because I didn't want to help them. <laughs> All the time. All the time. Oh. Yeah. Any employee will say this. People used to come in, they used to just be angry and upset. Especially when they're like older and they don't listen to you. I didn't want to help them. So people be nice. It doesn't hurt you. Boop. Never have I ever airdropped something to the wrong person by accident. Nope, I haven't done that. I have not. I have. Because you know sometimes like it's very deceptive, like an airdrop pops up and then you think you're about to click it and then like three pop up at the same time, so you click the next one by accident, and it's like some stranger. What happens a lot in this store actually is that if they see people's names on AirDrop, they just send it to everyone, and sometimes some of the things that we use like for teaching classes have AirDrop turned on, and so they get put on there. Some bad stuff? No, not that I've seen. I'm sure it's happened, but not anything that I've seen. Never have I ever upsold someone for a product they didn't need. I have not. Yes, I have not. I haven't. No, I haven't done that. If somebody doesn't want something, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. If they didn't want it, they didn't want it, and I wasn't gonna force them. Customers are funny, especially when they have more money. They kind of expect to be upsold, and I'm like, nope, that's all you need. And they're like, that's it. I was like, that, that is all you need. If you want something else, I can get it for you, but yeah. And that's something I think that I appreciate about Apple. They kind of like ingrained that in your head a little bit. Never have I ever asked someone out or been asked out while on the job. I have definitely been asked out on the job, but it's very annoying. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> we don't have to go into like details, do we? <laughs> it always started out as, you know, they had an issue with their phone or they had an issue with their computer, and then they would, you know, slowly get into the flirting and the touching and the... <laughs> the giggles, and then you kind of know where it's going from there. I've never asked out anyone, but I have been asked out. I'm working. Why would I want to go out with you? This is like the worst place to ask someone. No, I don't want to go out with anyone who asks me out at work. Never have I ever told someone you were out of a certain product, but actually weren't. Yeah, I have. <laughs> nope. I haven't done that either because it doesn't benefit me in any kind of way. They're here to get something and then leave. Let's do that so that you, you can leave. <laughs> this, I've only done this like twice. Someone comes in like last five minutes of the store closing. Hey, I want to switch from this carrier to this carrier and I want two phones and I want to add my kids to it. I mean like, we're sold out. So uh, yes, I have and I don't regret it. Never have I ever given fake advice to a customer because I didn't know how to fix something. 
I have. I have. Nope. I haven't done that either because when I just don't know, I'm like, I have no idea how to fix this problem. When I first started working there, you don't really know a lot. So I would just make up things on the fly, basically. And I would just kind of like flip through apps, kind of like swipe through things, and then you like open into another app, and then you're just like, mm, there you go. But most of the times it would work out where, you know, I was able to just get by it and they were able to figure it out themselves. And I'm like, well, damn, good job. Never have I ever recommended an Android. No, never. Very true. I would never recommend an Android to anybody just because I don't like them and I think they suck. My mom has one and she's like the black sheep of the family. I won't talk to you. I will ignore all your green bubbles. So yeah, I would, I would never recommend an Android. I will always stand by Apple regardless if I'm working there now or was working before. Love Apple, always will love Apple.